Hey guys, it's Aaron from Aaron's Outdoor, and today I am out on Lake Lanier for the first time in kind of a while. I fished out here two days before Thanksgiving, so it's been almost six weeks, because now it's January 2nd uh, when I'm out here. And hopefully I'll catch my first bass of 2023 today. Uh, I'll probably get some spotted bass, maybe I'll get a largemouth too. But basically today, the high is actually 66 degrees, which is pretty warm. It's a lot warmer than it's been, but still, it's been pretty cold. So I'm not sure how active these fish are going to be. I'm definitely going to be throwing some finesse techniques. I've got a drop shot, shaky head, and jig tied on. Um, and last year, around this time, I caught fish on some like steep rock ledges. So I think that's what I'm going to fish today, and hopefully we'll have some success. Oh, I saw the fish. I literally saw his body. That one was kind of shallow. It's a little probably spotted bass. It's a little bass, whatever it was. I'm following it in with a drop shot. Oh, is he running at me? Oh my gosh, can't tell. Little bass, all right. Well, I just switched to the Ned Rig. I mean, I've had the Ned Rig on for like five minutes. Well, we've been out here a little over an hour and there's my first fish of 2023. It's a little spotted bass there. It's definitely not a keeper, but I tied on that Ned Rig with the Guggenbaits rattling Ned. And I kind of like that one because it has a rattle in it. It's a little different than other uh, Ned Rig baits. And when I was out on Lake Lanier on January 1st last year, I actually caught my one and only fish that day on this exact bait and i put it on and have a fish in the first like five minutes so that's definitely a good sign he's only like a 12 and a half maybe 13 inch definitely not a keeper but i'm happy to get that skunk out of the boat and hopefully we'll uh, be catching some more in that net rig definitely a small one there at 12 inches but i'm happy to get that first fish of 2023 There's a fish, ooh, a little bigger than the last one. A large mouth, okay. So we got a large mouth and a spot already. I'm glad I uh, cast it up under those dock lines. I could tell that those stairs right there went underwater and there's like multiple dock lines. They just got real close to them, cast it up under, under them and there's a little fish. The other one was 12 inches. This might be like 12 and a half. So another small one, but at least we've got a couple of fish. I'll definitely take it for early January. All right, another victim to that little Ned rig. There's one. Little guy. All right. This guy's not too big, but he's bigger than those other two I caught. Uh, he might be slightly bigger, maybe 13 inches, probably like 12 and three quarters. All right, he was right at 12 and three quarters, so getting slightly bigger there, but obviously I'm hoping I can get some keepers, which is uh, 14 inches. I'll let him go. Whoa. Oh, I have a fish. Man, he's tiny. Uh, I barely got a hook set on this guy. He's real small though. All right, real tiny one there, but it kind of seems like these fish are on steep rock ledges that have docks. I mean, this morning I lost one, f well, my camera died, but basically I was saying that earlier I was fishing a rock ledge that didn't have docks. I only had one bite there, and it seems like I have a lot more bites on these ledges that have uh, docks on them. So I don't know, anyway. Tiny guy, I'll let him go. Oh, come on, I had a fish. Come on. Oh, he bit again. Got him, actually got him. There we go, he bit again. Might be the biggest of the day. All right. He bit, and man, I, I was bummed because I didn't really get a good hook set, and he came off and then threw it back in there, and 
he bit it again, which is nice. So, you know, nothing b huge, but a little bigger than the biggest one we've caught, I think. But I'm definitely impressed with the Ned Rig. It's really something I hardly ever use. Like, I usually just use the uh, shaky head on the near, but this little Ned Rig is just super finesse, and it's like, you know, surely the fish will bite it. Um, I don't even know what they think it really is. Maybe they think it's a crawfish or just a tiny little worm, but they seem to like it. All right, he was 13 and a half inches, so our first fish over 13 inches. Still not a keeper, but you know, I'll take him. Oh. There's one. Be big, please. Oh, all right. That's the biggest one. That's actually a keeper. All right, well, finally got a keeper. Probably like. I don't know, maybe 14 and a half inches. Probably a solid like, I don't know, pound and a half fish. Maybe just under it. All right, nothing huge, but he's 14 and three quarters, so not too bad. And he's a pound four, so he's a pound and a quarter. All right, well hopefully we'll get some more fish around his size or bigger today. When I looked yesterday, it said it was just supposed to be cloudy today with no rain. Of course, it has to be like pouring down rain. I didn't even bring my rain jacket. It's in my car. So, I'm going to go under this dock over here that has no boats in it. All right, well, here's a little midday update. It is pouring down rain, and I forgot my rain jacket, so my pants are like soaked. I'm pretty wet. Which kind of stinks. I don't really want to fish when it's like pouring down rain like this and I have no rain jacket. And they have two cameras that could get ruined if they get too wet. So I think I'm just going to hide out under this dock and hopefully it'll stop raining pretty soon. If it keeps raining, then I may just call it for the day. All right. Well, I'm kind of giving up. I'm back at the boat ramp. It just got pretty cold and wet out here. I mean, it's only 55 degrees, which is really not that cold. But when you're soaking wet, it definitely feels a lot colder and it's a lot more comfortable. It's mainly like my sweatpants and my shoes that are like soaking wet. But uh, anyway, I mean, nonetheless, I still had a good day out here despite the rain. I mean, with it being early January, I thought I might get skunked. So the fact that I caught six bass is kind of good in my books, even though they were, you know, all pretty small. But, and I think I'm gonna try to fish Lake Lanier some more in these colder months. You know, last year I fished Lake Lanier like once in January, then I didn't fish it again until March. This year I wanna try to fish the lake a lot more in January and February and just see how I do. I mean, I'm pretty happy with how today turned out with that uh, Ned Rig. The Ned Rig's something I really don't use much. And I mean, last year, I think I only caught one bass out here on the Ned Rig and it was in January, January 1st. So I caught so a bunch of fish on it this year on January 2nd. So that might be something I'll be throwing a lot more out here in Lake Lanier uh, in January and February. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.